All right, so here's the story. I'm out taking photographs with the Canon EOS 5D Mark One. This is the classic full frame Canon digital camera. On the camera, I had mounted the Canon brand battery grip. It holds two batteries, okay? And it gives you a bigger grip to hold on to. It's the BG E4. This battery grip attacked me and ruined, almost ruined, a photo shoot that I had today. Let me explain what happened. So as everybody does your home, right? You're getting your gear checked, right? You're checking everything that works. You're going into your menu. You're setting everything up for that particular shoot, your ISO, etc. Okay? And I put on the Canon brand, not a, not a third party, Canon battery grip BG E4. Loaded it up with two batteries. There's one in here now, and I'll get to that in a minute. Right? It holds two batteries, one on the right, one on the left, right? I took one out and I'll explain that right now. So this was all hooked up into the camera and I get here to the scene where I'm going to do my photo shoot today and turn it on, it turns on, right? The screen comes on up here, right? As normal, come on, right? The screen up here comes on as normal. The menu, the menu lights up perfect, except there's just one problem. You go to take a picture, dead. It won't autofocus, it won't take a picture. And I say, oh my God, what the heck? So, you start doing like a pilot would in an emergency. You, you start going through everything, right? So you turn it off, you turn it back on, you make sure that the lens is on correctly, right? You take the lens off, you put it back on, make sure everything's on autofocus, right? You go through the whole checklist to make sure everything's working fine. You take out the batteries, right? You put the batteries back in to restart, nothing. But then I remembered that battery grips are probably the weakest link in your photography. This is what I mean. I took the battery grip off, right? It, it has a holder here for the battery door. Put the battery door back on. I put the battery, one of the batteries in here, right? Turned it on and perfect. There's something going wrong. Now this is not new. This is old. This has been with me for over 10 years, right? They go, just like your car, the battery goes. The tranny goes, right? Things go. This went. It decided to go somewhere between when I left the house when it worked and by the time I got to the photo shoot. Okay? So, just because your camera is not working, the camera may not be broken. It might be an accessory that you're using. Just keep this in mind. All right, guys? Here's another helpful hint when you're going through a checklist to see what might be wrong with your external accessory battery grip, whether it's a Canon or a Nikon or whatever, do these things. First, you see these contacts, okay? Clean them, not with any kind of uh, liquids, just take your microfiber cloth and clean them so they make a good contact. That's step one. Step two, if your battery grip, like in this case, the Canon BGE4, right, for the Canon Classic 5D Mark I, if your battery holder holds two batteries, make sure that they are the same brand, okay? So if you have two Wasabis, put the two Wasabis in, but don't put a Wasabi brand third-party battery, and a Canon brand battery, okay? Next, these grips prefer Canon batteries. I don't know why. I'm, I wasn't the engineer, 
but they prefer to use Canon batteries. Now, these grips work with just one battery, okay? You see here this little diagram of one battery and this little diagram of two. This means you put, if you're only going to use one battery, you put it on this side. And this is where the second battery would go, okay? These are just little hip, little tips to help you get through your dysfunctional battery grip. guys all right come from new york subscribe be well